hi guys welcome back to my channel how have you guys been how has april been so far um if this is your first time here welcome welcome and if this isn't your first time welcome back um you guys how are you doing so this video is going to be a really short one i'm coming from i'm at a different location um, i'm in class but i just thought to quickly put out this a uh, video so and um it's a follow-up to the video i put out early in the month about you know speaking things into existence so um i just wanted to say i just wanted to check up on us and also so this is what happened and this is why i'm doing this video um i'm sure you already guessed from the title but this is why i'm putting this video out so while i was trying to fill out my so if you follow me on my blog or um, if you are subscribed to my newsletter there's a I don't want to call it document but it's a document i put out where it's just something where you can write out or draw out the eight things you're speaking into existence and so while i was feeling mine out like i just couldn't feel it out and this is because my dreams or my all the things that i was speaking into existence were like they were bigger than me so it scared me a lot and then Look, I really struggled before I put it on there. And even after I put it on there, I couldn't, like, I've gone back to it probably just twice, and I don't know what, I think it was fear. So I had to have, have a talk with somebody, and then, you know, I now finally understood that it was a fear. It was fear that was, like, fear. You know how they say that people are actually afraid of success? I feel like so it's not like I was afraid of the success itself. Success hasn't been combo. Like I don't know why. Like I felt so much fear writing those things down because in my mind they seemed too big and I was using my mind to you know put it so like I was scared and even eventually when I put it down, um the fear was still making me know because these dreams are really big, like I mean I don't know, like super big, huge, huge dreams. And then so um, I wrote it down. Also in the newsletter, I said that it's not just about speaking things to existence or writing things. You actually have to take action. You have to work at those things. And I found that the fear that stopped me from writing those things down is also there um, in working towards the things. So for example, I've um, written down one really big thing. And then I'm supposed to take actions towards that thing, but I'm just scared, like, what if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't happen, like, the way I wrote it down and all of that? So that has kept me from uh, taking some actions. And I, I had to give myself a talk, and I'm having to talk with you guys now. Um, don't let fear steal anything. Like, fear is a big thief. It will take things from you. It will take things that could have been your happiness your joy like fear really takes a lot from us so i'm just here to encourage you like this video won't be long at all because i'm doing it before my um before everybody in class comes but don't let fear steal so much from you do it afraid is what i'm just trying to say do it afraid feel the fear and then do it anyways like you've said that you want to do your master's program or you're then, then scared of the funding or all of those things that come like just start the process anyways start it so and this is it at the very least if anything happens that it doesn't come to pass it's not from you like you did everything you could have done you did everything within your own power so um feel the fear and do it anyway um, and i was reading a book uh think like a monk it's by uh I promise you I know his name but <laughs> think like a monk think like a monk. I'm going to put his name like the name it's just running anyway. but um he talks about fear and how fear can motivate us to do things and how we sh like fear isn't always a negative thing and I, I agree with what he said so feel the fear and do it anyway I think fear keeps us on our toes so feel the fear do what you're supposed to do you think that maybe you don't have all the resources yet start go through all the process with what you have so what do you you don't have i'm assuming it's six million now you don't have the six million but do what the two cobble you have can do so if it's getting your passport if it's writing applications if it's um, emailing the schools 
uh, whatever it is or if you're going through a job if it's um just filling out applications reaching out to job job agencies like just do the parts you can do with what you have don't let fear um don't let fear stop you jay shetty jay shetty is the woman that wrote the book um but don't let fear stop you from doing all you're supposed to do so and in any case in the last video we said we're handing everything over to god he's the one that's going to do everything that he needs to do anyway so um, just do all that you need to do um do them and don't let the fear stop you do it afraid um someone just me. okay so um that's it guys in this video i'll see you in my next video i <laughs> yeah classmates are already coming i'm gonna try to do a video on like a week in my life so that will be next week i think yes i'll probably do next because this week is already over so i'll do next week i'll do a week in my life just take you through the whole class it's a content writing class um, I'll just show you all of the bits that I can show you and tell you more about the class. But guys, um, like I said, do it afraid. Don't be scared. Feel that fear and then push through anyways. Do what you're supposed to do. Do everything that you're able to do on your path. Don't let fear stop you. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Please, please like, subscribe, share and drop a comment as well. So this helps me um you know grow and then um it helps me know if you like this video <laughs> so if you've watched up to this point please drop a comment and um yes I'll see you in my next video bye guys